Hey, it's Chef Lovely here, and I'm in the mood for some vegetables. So today, we're going to make a basic roasted rutabaga. Here are the ingredients. One pound rutabaga peeled and cut into one half to three fourth inch pieces. One to three tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. One half teaspoon kosher salt, more to taste if you need it a little bit later. Freshly ground black pepper and fresh lemon juice. Okay, so here's my rutabaga. As you can see, I've washed it, I've peeled it, and I've cut it into very similar size chunks. Now this is very important. When they go into the oven, you want them to cook at the same size. So it's very important that your pieces are consistent and that they are close to the same size as possible, okay? So we're gonna coat with a little bit of our extra virgin olive oil so that they do not dry out while they're in the oven. And of course, it's gonna add flavor. We're gonna simply season with a little bit of salt and a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. Now, I am not afraid of cooking, so I'm gonna go in here with my hands and we're gonna to gently toss this together, just like this, to evenly coat that oil and our seasonings, our salt and pepper. So there we go. Very, very basic, very, very easy, very, very delicious. So over here, I have a sheet pan and it is coated with foil. You can also use parchment paper because who likes to clean up? When this comes out of the oven, just throw away the foil and you're good to go. So we're gonna put this on our baking sheet and we're gonna spread them out so that each one can evenly cook in the oven. Okay, now our oven is already preheated to 475 degrees. This is gonna cook for about 13 to 15 minutes. We're going to flip them over so that the other side gets golden brown and cook for an additional five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna get these into the oven so we can eat our rutabaga. Okay, so as you can see, our rutabaga has come out of the oven, beautifully caramelized here and if you need to add a little bit more olive oil, you can, but my rutabaga looks nice and moist, so I'm not gonna add that step in. I gave it a little bit of a taste. It has just the right amount of salt and pepper, but I wanna add another flavor profile, so I'm gonna take some lemon juice, and I'm just gonna put that right on top, and then we're gonna give this a stir, just to make sure that the lemon juice evenly coats all of our rutabaga here. Okay, there we go, that's it. How simple, how easy, how delicious. And here is our basic roasted rutabaga.